He is not coming. Only his representatives are on board. I don't understand. A cable arrived in the office a few minutes ago. And the journalists? They've waited an hour and a half. <laughs> From Roman London has just landed. Passengers may be met at the arrival hall in 15 minutes. I'm sorry. Evidently, Mr. Donati had other matters to attend to. Please accept our apologies. At this point, gentlemen, I'm as confused as you are. Please excuse me. Welcome to Accra. You must be Mr. McDougall. And you must be from Mr. Coffey's company, right? Yeah, it's a bit like hell here, isn't it? We were expecting Mr. Donati. He sent a cable. Without any explanation whatsoever, I regret to say. Okay, okay. We'll talk about it over a drink. Shall we? Who has the baggage tickets? Would you believe what a reception this is? And your passports? Oh, the passports. Passports. Can you tell me why he didn't come? Oh, well, all I know is there should be someone at our disposal. Is that you? My name, sir, is Rumor. Oh, good, Mr. Rumor. However, I'd prefer to discuss the rest with your employer. There we go now. You can go now. I'll take care of these bastards. We're ready! Give me three gods if I kill you, but I have to do it because I am hungry. My wife is hungry and my children are hungry and we have no house to sleep in. 
forgive me, three God, if I kill you. But that's not the real reason. I don't give a damn about my wife or my children or about the house. I'm going to kill you, three God, for one reason only, for money. <laughs> for money. For money. <laughs> $8,000. Hey, boy, listen here. How much do you make a month? $20. $20. This coffee is smarter than Donati. Perhaps. But not because of his prices or salaries. Those are determined by the international market, which, as you know, is controlled by Europeans and Americans. Miss Olive Tucker is Mr. Coffey's personal secretary. Oh, I want very much to meet Mr. Coffey. I'm sorry, Mr. Coffey had to leave suddenly. He sends you his regards and wishes you a pleasant stay in Ghana. Mr. Ruma will show you all the phases of our organization. Shall we go? All this way for nothing. What a coincidence. Donati doesn't show, Coffee disappears. Who's trying to fool who? But when will he be back? As soon as I advise him that Mr. Donati has arrived. Then please tell uh, Mr. Coffey that Antonio Borga Perut invites him for a drink at the hotel tomorrow evening. I'm afraid Mr. Coffey will not be able to accept your invitation. He's very busy, you see, with Mr. Albert Wilkinson. Mr. Ruma. Oh, yes. Yeah. Wilkinson. Well, the invitation stands for the day after. I think it could be possible to reach an annual production of 7,000 cubic meters. Of course. But the infrastructure, 
can't carry a larger load. What's stopping you from doubling the transport? We are waiting to hear from the state. Some of the contract clauses must be more clearly defined. But isn't everything already in order? I think Mr. Ajesu means that Mr. Kofi considers the deal closed. The only element missing is Mr. Donati's signature. A very capable rumor. But in order to avoid any misunderstanding, Mr. Donati doesn't intend to quibble. We're committed to purchase and hold your entire production for the next five years. And it's only natural that we take all the necessary precautions for such an important contract. Perhaps Mr. Donati would like to give it some more thought. No, as I said, there's no problem. Your husband should be nominated chief of complicating sinful affairs. <laughs> Shall we take a collection among ourselves and strike the man a medal? Real British blood. Excuse me. Borga Peruta, if your job is to amuse the ladies, try to do it when you're alone with them. I'm here to work. Oh, I forgot. You're the only Englishman with absolutely no sense of humor. Pardon? I want to change my style. Just think of Franco's surprise. If I were you, I wouldn't do anything to surprise him. It's a miracle Donati came into your life. Hang on to him. He's going to hang on to me. It's biological. Every time he looks at me, he gets excited. Something he doesn't get with you anymore. When I realized that, I moved over with pleasure. Donati and I are friends, and I have a husband. Could be worse. I wasn't thrown out, Sylvia. And I'm not as old as you. Age has nothing to do with it, my dear. I'm talking about brains. When you're my age, you'll be selling it on the streets. Everything all right? Are we three? What are we going to do tonight? I'd like to see one of those war dances. Ask Roma. He's coming after dinner. I will. Tell me. Isn't Wilkinson the fellow Donati ousted from this deal? Hmm. Do you know where he is now? London, I should imagine. No, he's not. He's here in Ghana with the elusive Mr. Coffee. How do you know? Roma hinted at Olive. He let something slip at the sawmill, but I realized it. Listen, why don't you work on Uruma? Get him on your side. Excellent idea. You do it. My dear McDougall, I can't tell a tree from a toothpick. I'm only an expert in pretty girls. <laughs> I don't need a pimp meddling in my business. Come along. Imagine. The man's actually offended. Incredible. All Englishmen are pansies. <laughs> Tell him to be careful. I won't take this nonsense. You know what he's like. Don't pay any attention to him. Why did Donati stick me with him and that other one? Donati. He's a genius, I know. He delays his arrival so Coffee will think that this big business deal is in the hands of playboys and playgirls. Disorients him while he screws him. But what the hell am I doing in the middle of all this? James. There are almost $50 million at stake. And you're questioning Donati's tactics? Things could get complicated now. Maybe this is your chance to show him that you're not just a technician. So that's it, eh? He thinks I'm mediocre. And he told you. Don't be ridiculous. It's just that I'm sure he doesn't think... Seeing as you're so sure what Donati thinks, what do you suggest I do? For God's sake, stop it and use your head. If Wilkinson's really here, it can only mean one thing. He's made coffee a new offer. Find out what it is. It'd give Donati a priceless weapon. Don't say anything to him now. Do what he'd do. And that is? Every man has his price. Buy someone. Rumor. Rumor knew exactly. 
exactly which war dances would interest you the most. I'm ready to emigrate to Ghana right away. What do you think? Is it difficult to obtain citizenship? Why, are you interested in Ghanaian or all black men? No, only those rich in natural resources. Don't listen to them, Ruma. That's, of course, so primitive. I'm ashamed of them. They still haven't understood the power of the civilized tongue. Excuse me. Roma, don't tell me you're embarrassed. Why should I be embarrassed? I think your friend knows just what you are, Sherry. I have the feeling the day he lets himself go, all hell will break. Where you are, sir. Don't let the heat get to you. Who's he talking to? Why? Afraid it'll be missed? They look pretty important. Oh. He's coming here. Are you looking for me? gentlemen left a lovely girl like you alone. Unforgivable. Maybe you can help me remember where I've seen them before. Wait, I'm almost sure I know the European. His name is... Wilkinson? Oh, I really don't know. And the other man? The fat one. No, no, no. I think I know him. to know if Ruma's really bashful. If it makes you happy, I'll find out. But you love your husband, and you love Donati. He's not here. I hope you're joking. Monza, let's dance. As long as we're together, ah. Sylvia, nobody's to touch you. Is that clear? Why are you so angry? You're starting to like me yourself? You're not my type, idiot. You don't like to dance? Major requests are for ebony and mahogany. And African walnut. Naturally, this year we foresee augmenting production by 17%. I've the distinct impression you're not as well appreciated as you should be. What makes you say that? Because for one thing, I know firms in London would offer great opportunity to a man like you, if you were interested. That depends. Shall we go?
I was very frightened there for a moment. For me? You surprised me. Sylvia, it's very late. He had no sensitivities whatsoever. Here we are, soaking, while that miracle man, Uruma, and that lousy husband of yours are at the front. The heat, the stink, under the bombardment of tree trunks. Well, because they are men, Antonio. What am I? Queer. <laughs> Oh, well, now I understand why I didn't make out with that whore I live at the dance last night. You're too civilized. Alienated is the times and the money you owe. But I adore signing IOUs and bad checks. You don't know how exciting it is. Besides, there's always some cool who'll make them good. Like Donati? Darling, if Donati pays, it's because it means something for the man. And besides, he appreciates my style. But I still don't understand why he sent you around representing him instead of putting you up in a brothel. <laughs> At your own. Oh, you pig. You dirty little pig. <laughs> belongs to Donati. Don't be offended. Instead, try to imagine what would happen if you made a wrong move with Sylvia. Or even with me. But you're an executive of Mr. Coffey's company. came in here and undressed, ignoring me completely. It's obvious you consider me dead. Any woman who behaves as you have could be judged arrogant, ill-bred and vulgar. How dare you? But I avoid such judgment, so as not to create any unpleasant situation. As far as your warning is concerned, if I like a girl and she likes me, neither you, nor Donati, nor Kofi himself could stop me going to bed with her. However, I cannot follow my impulse. Because as you say, I am intelligent and attached to my work. The important thing is that you've understood. She didn't make it with him. Rumor must be frigid. <laughs> Went badly, eh? is going to pay. They aren't slaves any longer. I'm afraid you made a big mistake, Eve. 
You'll pay, too, behaving like a bitch. You refused a pretty woman like Eve, Pauka? Maybe you were afraid of competing with Eve's husband. It's true. Eve's pretty demanding. <laughs> and to run off like this, and with me, she must feel terrible. It's the first time anybody said no to her. And an African. She didn't know you did these things. You're a serious man. And a little bit timid. And even sentimental. You only go with girls you really like. Me, for instance. This isn't a hotel. Why did you bring me here?
You ask me why I brought you here. Because this is a place most suitable to tell you. I don't have any barbaric ideas, as you may think. Don't be afraid. I respect everybody. I come from a different school than your friends. Now that you understand, we can go. This evening, just the two of us, okay? If you like. Be careful. One mistake could ruin everything. I don't trust him. I don't either. No, it's Sylvia. Hello. Yes, it's me. Hello, Franco. I'm sorry, but Jimmy was still here. Go ahead. No, coffee's been very elusive, but it's obvious he's playing your game. How can we? He never sees anybody. He does all his business by telephone. Then you're coming? All right, as you like. Don't worry. She's really behaving very well. But there's a rather handsome African buzzing around. No, no, I'll keep an eye on her. He won't get anywhere. Did you think about what I said yesterday? Not yet. Let's get something straight. I think all men are equal. I want you to be convinced that whatever I say to you, I would say to a white man as well. I have $5,000 for you. In exchange, I want to know the terms of the you offer. This is wrong. We are not equal. I was not referring to the physical aspect. Mm, nor was I. The abstract equality of men does not interest me. The difference, yes. Until this difference is accepted, racism will always exist. I'll double it. 
$10,000. Mr. McDougall, either you have misunderstood me, or you're completely unscrupulous. In other words, you're not accepting. In the interest of the contracts involved, I will not inform Mr. Kofi of this conversation. I'm sure you won't. How did Franco react to the news? What news? Sylvia's affair with the black. I didn't tell him. For your sake as well, darling. Really? What a kind heart. I bet you've even forgiven Ruma. I think I'd better take care of him in my own way. Wait. I'm the one who decides. What's the matter with you this morning? Just thinking. When you start to think, I get the shivers. If this is the result of one night... It was beautiful. Too beautiful. Do you want to go on seeing him? I don't think so. No. I don't believe you. I'd rather not discuss it. No. You said something stupid, Sylvia. Remember? You said Donati loves you. Be careful. Donati doesn't love you. Donati doesn't love anybody. You're not the one who's got to be afraid. Or are you? Sylvia, try to make sense. Last night you had your fling, but now forget Ruma. If you're going to put it that way, I've always kept your secrets, you stupid little fool. Lady, where do you think you are? The marketplace? This is no time for your jokes. I've had my say. I'm jealous because Ruma didn't sleep with her. Cut it out. Fighting over a black man when there's me. You can take advantage of me one by one or even both together. Very funny. So, no takers? No, no takers. And you, have you decided? You're not talking, I see. But I've got needs. And if you don't want to satisfy them, there are women like you who cost less and give more. Prince, how will you pay for it? Calm down. Calm down. There's enough for everybody. With a full supply of penicillin for those poor girls. <laughs> Obviously. I'm pink rather. Naturally. I'm pinky too. Listen, Pinky, I feel like spending some money. Well, that's the best news I've heard since my husband died. Very witty. <laughs> Have you got a boyfriend? What's it to you? I would like him to come as well. Want something? Yes. Ten thousand dollars. You've already got it. And here I was thinking I was going to surprise you. At school I was taught there were three races. White, yellow and black. Not so. There are only two. Rich and poor. Hmm. Whites and blacks I know, but yellow people. Though you talk like a Chinese. I'm still not sure which of us is the more unscrupulous. You know, I don't always like what I do either.
special service costs. How much? Oh, I'd say about eight dollars. your game, huh? Send her away. You heard the man. What? Go away. Well, I like men. Strong men. Have you got three, four friends? They must be Africans. It depends. I want to teach some bastard a lesson. In that case, that's not enough. I don't like being taken for a ride. What do you think I am, a tourist? Bring me those men, pimp. And then we'll talk about the rest. And don't try anything funny. like ours, but without trees, animals, or fish. You still have cannibals? What? Cannibals? You find cannibals in Africa. Is she crazy? <laughs> you see, for centuries, people here thought that you Europeans ate men. Some still believe it. That's really the end. Try to understand. The whites came here to buy Africans. Only once they were bought, the Africans disappeared. People didn't know that they were being shipped to America to become slaves. So seeing as they didn't return, people thought that they had been eaten. They ate them. That's what they did. He exaggerates, my uncle. Your uncle? My mother's brother. He's a fanatic. Like the Europeans who say that all Africans are cannibals. They ate them. They ate them. Now you are offending her. She looks at you too much. Oh. It's the fish you're supposed to eat. Now <laughs> eh? oh, you've understood. I've got an idea. Next month, I'll have a few days off. We could spend them together, somewhere where nobody knows us. Why? Are you ashamed to be seen with me? No, that's not it. Let's go to Greece. You don't have to worry about anything. I'll take care of the expenses. Don't tell me that you'd feel dishonored, because I'd be paying. You said a few days. I have commitments. 
Her relationship can be broken. You know I'm Donati's girlfriend. So? I don't love him, but he takes care of me. If I'm not mistaken, this trip to Greece would be paid by him. But it's silly to give it up. You've got to understand. His security, your love, it's ideal. Mm. And which convent taught you that? You're leaving me like this? Not even a kiss? I'm worried. Still mad at me? No. Have you forgotten? We disappeared without telling anybody. I'm sure they've looked all over for you. And for me. We'll think of something, won't we? woman and tell her, because the next time we see her with you, it's going to be her turn. Major Saba, our guest. This is Major Saba, Commissioner for Transport and Communications. I suppose I have to apologize. I know this is not the most suitable place to receive you, but having heard about the ladies and the beauty, I didn't want to miss the occasion of meeting them. My time is very limited this afternoon, as I have to travel to Kamasi. Ah, your medal is very curious. Wounded in the Air Force. Wasn't it? It's a good credit card, and it keeps me out of trouble with the police. He's so modest. May I offer you a drink before my departure? Mr. McDougall, I'm very pleased to be in a position to tell you officially that the railway tracks to Takoradi will be doubled within the next eight months. I will have it announced on television tonight. My government's policy is in favor of having an increased commercial relationship with Europe. Isn't Ruma coming? From now on, I'll be accompanying you. Mr. Ruma has asked to be relieved of his duties. Uh, Sylvia. Oh. 
Sylvia, you're a sweet girl. I don't like to see you throwing yourself away. What do you mean? Perhaps Ruma doesn't want to see you anymore. What do you know about it? I told him what I thought, and Ruma simply agreed with me. With you? Now I understand. You're not only Donati's crony, you're also his spy, his henchman. Poor Sylvia, you haven't understood one damned thing. I know that you've cheated everyone, and he covers up for you. But I never thought that... I've slammed all over the world, my dear, but never in as low a confine as your present thinking. You son of a bitch. Donati makes your bed. And if you wanted to stay that way, you'd better mind your morals. You'd kill anyone just to hang on to him. Because without him, you would end up in jail. Hey! Oh! I dang. Nobody can talk to me like that. Nobody. You don't frighten me. I could ruin you. Ruma. Doctor says that I mustn't fall in love with women who are tied to important men. Donati sent me here for only one reason. Company for Mr. Coffey. And if he likes me, to go to bed with him. That's the way it is. Donati uses girls for his business. It's normal, you know. Everybody does it. It creates a friendly atmosphere. And later, there are never any problems. We're important for him. Not at all. Don't flatter yourself. Business is done for different reasons. But I can understand. A friendly atmosphere, smoothing out the rough edges. Except that coffee never shows up himself. Right. So you're Kofi's gift. And me, a humble employee, dare touch you. Now I know why they beat me. Well then, Donati is not really your love. You are only one of his... But I am Donati's mistress. I live in his house. He loves only me then I don't understand. He loves you, but he uses you in other men's beds. But that's something else. That's business. He only sends me to men of his level. I can't even look at the others. In the beginning, I didn't understand either. Why have you told me this? Because... Because you love me? Now what will you do? I don't know. You've confused me. The past for me is important. The past of a country, of a people, of a person. I cannot ignore it. But perhaps... You can teach me to change. How? Where are you taking me? 
where we can clarify the present. Allusion to Donati or Wilkinson? No, nothing. I don't get it. Coffee invited me to his house. Is it really necessary that I go? Is what necessary? What do you mean? What do I have to do? Don't ask me. I'm not your pimp. And now you want advice from my husband of all people? You knew that Borgo Paruto was going to have Ruma beaten. Why didn't you stop him? Idiot. You still haven't understood that Antonio interfered because I wanted him to. You? He's only here to take orders. My orders. I'm responsible for everything that happens to you. And I have no intention of ruining my husband's career because of your flings. Yes, madam. No, thank you. I've been more of a friend than you'll ever realize. I've tried everything. Leave me alone. It's my problem. Don't make me laugh, Sylvia. You'd give up everything you have just because some office worker turned your head? Dear, dear. The heat's gotten you. He took me to coffee to test me. If I go with coffee, it's over between us. Oh, I see. So now... Our African guide is giving you lessons in morals as well. You surprise me, Sylvia. You are naive. Don't you know we bought your black prince? What are you saying? Ask James how easy it was to buy him. Ten thousand dollars in cash. That's all it took. At least he isn't stupid.
You'd better think what Donati might do to you if he finds out you've been cheating. Go ahead. Marry that black. You've so little to lose. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mr. Donati. It's a great pleasure that you are here. Welcome to Accra. Thank you very much. Ah. <laughs> My dear Coffee, what a pleasure to see you. The pleasure is all mine, Mr. Donati. I've been very impatient to meet you again. I must say, it's been a long time. Much longer than expected. The commercial world is unpredictable, right? <laughs> I agree, I agree. Unpredictable and disconcerting. But now, in the name of the management and directors of our company, I would like to extend a most hearty welcome to our illustrious Italian friend. Thank you. If you'll forgive me, as is our custom, the host shall drink first. So as to assure his guest that the wine has not been poisoned. <laughs> that is a custom once used in my country and should be brought back. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. And now if you'll excuse us just for a moment. In the meantime, make yourselves comfortable. MacDougall? You too, Philip. Mr. Donati, I'm sure you've noticed the curious atmosphere surrounding our meeting. I'm afraid I owe you an explanation. You see, your friends have already met me. Not as Kofi, the president of this firm, but as Ruma, a mere employee. It was a misunderstanding at the airport, which I preferred to exploit. Why? Because I did not appreciate your absence, Mr. Donati. Nor did I appreciate the behavior of your friends. And above all, I did not appreciate that when they got off the plane, one of them shoved the valise into my hands. <laughs> it's one of my weaknesses. I know it's ridiculous, but it's one of the things that can drive me mad. Which is why I was struck by the curious idea of accepting the provocation instead of behaving rashly. Afterwards, I decided to continue the game in order to learn your methods, it's been a very interesting experience. Even if I discovered that there's a disloyal employee in my own company. Furthermore, I was subjected to a most uncivilized attack on my physical person. Errors occur and even the most efficient companies can make them. It's human. Unpardonable, but human. I know the shortcomings and errors of my collaborators as well as my own. And I can understand perfectly your coming to the decision to drop the entire matter. I know when I've lost Mr. Coffey. You've misunderstood me, my dear Donati. When it comes to business, my only criteria are the interests of my firm. So I've had a contract drawn up on the basis of our previous verbal commitments. I was ready for negotiation and examination of the modifications which you perhaps expected to obtain. But now, I don't mean to discuss it any further. Take it. Or leave it. I think 24 hours is time enough for you to decide whether it's worth your while. Only one point remains unsettled. But it was not important enough to be included as a written clause. Later I'll let you know what it involves. It isn't anybody's fault. I mean, how could we have known? Franco, what a goof. But fortunately, the deal hasn't been in danger. Oh, I don't demand any excuses. Come on. Don't worry about it. <laughs> We're doing a pinter play at this theater. Surprising, I forget. I wouldn't mind seeing it if I had time. 
first thing is business, though. I'll see you later. Mr. McDougall. To use a man's color in order to make a profit is unforgivable. You surprise me. I must say I never thought of it. Of course I am. No, no. No, no thank you. No, no. And I want to tell you, to be indignant in a case like this can serve a purpose. And I intend to do just that. In good faith, of course. Rumor. Come, come, sir. African sculpture. Very good sculpture. Right here. African sculpture. What is this? Come from museum. How much? You say how much. No, you tell me. How much do you think it is what worth? What do you want? How much? That's all. How much can you give me? Eh? You know what you want for it. It's a good pieces. No, oh, it's too from much. from museum. No, never. Look, I want to make a good business. No. How much can you afford? How much money do you think is a reasonable price? Hmm? What will happen now? I don't know. You won't be his number one girl anymore. You'll lose your house, your allowance. But actually, I did do what he wanted. You did more. You went to bed with both Mr. Coffees. I should hate you for the mess you've made, for ruining me. But how can I? You're still too naive. Look, I've led this life for nothing. All I've got left is a husband whom perhaps I don't even love anymore. Don't say such things, Eve. Go to Franco. At this point, it's worth a try. Do you think Franco... Oh, use your head. And whatever's left between your legs. Didn't you once tell me he can't do without you? He gets excited just looking at you. Come in. Will you please turn the air conditioning up and call the porter? I've really been taken, Franco. I feel so badly. I do sympathize with you about it. You still demonstrate nice sentiments. I know you won't believe me, oh, but I... you mustn't be afraid of I me. I made a fool of myself. Oh, come on, don't worry. I'm not such an ogre. Come here, come here. Sit down here. Now you understand, of course, that you and I can't maintain our old relationship. All of you whom I'm paying have to do what I tell them to. That applies as well to Eve, who also makes mistakes sometimes. <laughs> Come on, don't think about falling in love. It could have happened to anyone else. The only thing is, you must see clearly. Do you want to live your life knowing the way you are here in Africa? Are you serious? He hates me now. He considers me to be nothing but what I am. Yes, he humiliated you. But if you're feeling badly, he's feeling a lot worse. It's not very easy to forget a pretty girl like you, especially now that you're looking so confused. Why don't you make a, a move to him? What can it cost you? I'd make the effort. You'll know what kind of man he is by the way he reacts to your honesty toward him and the woman you are. Hmm? Come, cheer up. Now, oh, Sylvia, <laughs> come and look at this. Look. <laughs> Isn't it funny? It's me and coffee. Which would you say I am? In the front or the rear? Uh, you must excuse me, my dear. I'll find another job. At least that way I won't be involved in any more underhanded deals. Where? On another planet? James. These underhanded dealings have allowed both of us a way of life we could never have dreamed of. 
That's why I've done my share of compromising, to defend it. Which is exactly what I cannot abide. Do you think I don't know about it all? About your intrigues with him? Your secret telephone calls? You did. And you accepted it? What was I supposed to do? Lose you? There's only one thing that scares me, Jimmy. Poverty. Or mediocre existence. To me, they're one and the same. I don't want to start all over again. In other words, if I were to resign, you wouldn't go with me. Why don't you say the right words? Tell me. Eve, come with me. I can give you everything you want. You think in terms of doing it gradually. Sacrificing. I want to live well from the beginning, now. Oh, try, James. I believe in your capabilities. You've only got to take advantage of them and use them constructively. I really believe in you, James. And I'll come with you. Stop acting. How can you ignore the fact that in every dirty game, I'm always the loser? If you come with me, it's because at the moment you have no alternative. Here I am with you, wide-eyed on the road to failure. Strange. I never thought about what you must feel. Maybe because, knowing myself, I never thought anyone could really love me. You're wrong again. I'll come with you. And I won't ask for anything. Someone waiting for you inside, Master. Master is not enough. You must also say please. <laughs> I want to make love with you. Why? Because it's the last time. What makes you think I want to? I attract you. Has the Nazi thrown you out? You're just a slave looking for a new master. And I don't want any slaves around me. Six. I'm sorry, sir. The bank wins. Another card for you? I'm sorry, sir. You've lost two. Five. Ten. That's all. No more beds. Number 25. No, it's mine. She's only joking. What? But I'm absolutely positive. Just a moment, madame. Sam, stay here. No, 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 no. The lady was right. Please, please. 
You must know these little mistakes are so easy. Excuse us, huh? I've got to accept the unpleasant fact that I'm no longer your friend. Therefore, my valuable signature on all those little pieces of paper you so kindly retained go back into circulation. Isn't that it? If you want to put the blame on me, I don't have excuses to give to anybody. But in this story, you're wrong. Your ex-girlfriend, that whore, Mrs. McDougal, is the one to take it out on. She's the one you confide in secretly. And one day she'll bring you to your knees. She gave me the go-ahead to take care of Ruma. Send her to my room. That's not my job. Let's get that clear. And don't use that tone with me. It's so hot this evening. Good evening. Would you like a taxi? Oh, I'll walk and take a look at the stars. But they're the same as in Europe. They're a bit nearer. Good, Good night, night, sir. Unwritten clause, Mr. Donati. Can you give us a description of your attackers? I've already told you it was dark. Africans or Europeans? Africans. Now, what charge? No charge. They were drunk. I can't understand it, Franco. These people must have lost their minds. But now, you can have some fun with them. It's your turn. What world are you living in? Eh? We have convinced them that a good black was a man, you see. Bad one, only a black. They discovered our little pretense. It's dead, the Africa of Tarzan. <gasps> Thank you. But you... You wanted to tell me something. Come on, I'm listening. Franco. Franco, I know... I wanted to tell you. I know I've messed everything up, but it is the first time. Thank you. This you can give back to your disloyal employee. I also return the contract you had drawn up and initialed. You'll note that I've made several corrections on it in pen. Certainly it's not absolutely everything I hoped for, but I have signed it formally. Yesterday I told you I would not discuss it any further. Take it or leave it. I admire you, Coffey. I'm of the same mind you are. Everything's there. Take it or leave it. As far as I'm concerned, I don't see any need to add any more riders or clauses. I think we've wasted our time. I'm sure of that. His experience was very interesting. But your business methods are not very different from mine. Well, the Europeans invented the rules of capitalism. 
And I, wittingly or unwittingly, accept them. But one detail still disturbs me. Not the money, but it's a question of principle with me. You still have $10,000 of mine. Or has MacDougall misinformed me? Hey, you think I want to keep the money? No. There's a thousand missing. Oh, I used that to pay for last night's accident. You were cheated. <laughs> I paid a lot less than a thousand dollars for the accident that happened to you. But you must realize that European labor costs much more than African labor. Well, of course, they're specialists. <laughs> the fact that that uncivilized attack took place before confirming our agreement instead of having it happen later. Well, yeah. it was the least I could do. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in the name of the government and ministry, I have the honor to direct. I should like to express our satisfaction at the agreement reached after very difficult negotiations between the two parties. Sylvia, my husband and I aren't going with you. We're going instead to France. You go with Franco. But why? Isn't Franco... It's too long a story. Best of luck, Sylvia. This is the final call of Ghana Airways to Robin London. Flight G8706 is now boarded. Passengers, please go to the departure gate. Flight G8706 to Robin London is now I'm very happy for you. Will all passengers traveling on this flight please Will you board the aircraft me? now? Thank you. My dear Eve, I was a bit sharp with you when I saw you last night at the hospital. Excuse me, but you had fooled me. You're not very convincing anymore. You came to me to intercede, to beg. But why? What are you afraid of? You used to be very compelling. Or maybe there was a time when I was more sensitive to certain things. You know, McDougall, she's convinced that you are only a technician and that you won't progress anymore. However, I maintain that you have the necessary material required. Anyway, I'm not of a mind to ask you to resign just yet. But I'll want the reasons for your conduct in this affair, and you'll explain them to me. Take the suitcase and follow me. Ah, Volga Peruta. Everything ready? As far as I know. Bravo, bravo. Come then. Ghana Airways to Takaradi, Kumasi and Tamale. Flight GH-808 is now boarding. Passengers, please go to the departure gate. Mr. Roof. Mr. Donati. Keep Franco waiting there. You made me believe you were a man who'd sell himself for so little. And I preferred to continue being a woman who sells herself for much, much more.
did you discover who I was? The day of the accident at the railroad yard. As you see, someone forgot that I speak your language. Before I offer you a job, MacDougall, what makes you think I'm any better? 